Previously in part 1 we have covered how to separate the glass from the assembly then remove the inner frame and mark and drill hole on it followed by some wiring and the different sort of led that you can use and install the led on the frame and secure it thoroughly for the people who haven't watched the first part yet the link is in the i button above so what is this blind spot detection system let's understand in detail Let's assume that you are on a highway following proper lane discipline. You will have a fixed rear view visibility and within that if any vehicle comes from behind you can see it clearly and cross the lane without any problems. Now let's assume that you are in a highway with proper lane discipline and a random vehicle wants to overtake you while you too want to switch the lane at the same time. If the vehicle comes outside your visible area also known as a blind spot it will end up in a crash Now let's understand the use of blind spot detection system With the BSD system turned on and while you are riding the system forms a beam of ultrasonic waves behind the motorcycle and if any vehicle cuts this beam the mirror indicates the flashing light warning that there is some vehicle behind Now let's continue the build. Once everything is cured and set, start unsoldering the three wires connecting to the board. Now disconnect the cable from the main board. We need to drill a 5 mm hole under the mirror's back frame to pass the wiring. Once the hole is drilled, pass the wire from outside and tie a knot. This will make sure that the wiring will stay secure even if it is pulled accidentally from outside. Now, strip the cable and expose the three wires. Solder the three wires back to its original place, making sure that you match the polarity and the data line. Now install the frame back to its assembly unit and secure it with four screws that you removed before. If you leave the board in this state, it is prone to damage with moisture or water content if it enters the mirror. In order to make the board water resistant, use a clear nail paint and apply 2 to 3 coats of it and let it cure completely. Now scratch and remove the mirror coating from the behind and install 3M double sided tape onto the frame as shown. The link is in the description for purchasing the 3M tape. Now remove the other side of the tape and install the glass aligning it with the light. This is how the mirror looks after modification. Repeat the same process with the other mirror too. Now with the included hole saw, start drilling the hole on the mud flap as shown. Repeat the same process for the other side too and remove the rear mud flap cover. Now pass the sensor wiring as shown and press fit in its place. Test the unit for proper functioning without any errors. I have mounted the other two sensors at the bottom. and this is not the best place to mount it and i will tell you why in a moment now guide the wires and secure it properly 
Now let me show you a demo. Currently the bike is in city mode. In this state, only a single horn works and the blind spot system is off and also you can see the fog light is turned off. Now once I change the mode to highway mode, you can see the blind spot detection system start working and also the fog light is turned on. And the dual horn functions in this state. You can change the fog light modes by clicking this button. I have made a separate video on how to install this fog light and also the horn in a separate video. For both of which the link is provided below in the description. And I'll be making a separate video on how to make this complete wiring setup and also you can follow along in that one. Now enjoy the cinematic shot.